Hi and welcome to another troubleshooting video. My name is Chris and in this episode I will teach you how to enable your XMP profile on your gaming system. First we have to check if your current memory is actually set to XMP. Um, basically what we're going to do is hit Control alt delete launch task manager. Um, depending on your settings it may show like this initially. So you want to click on more details down here and then hit performance. This is where you're going to see all of the stats for your CPU memory, disk, uh, network, and graphic card, graphics card. Um, click on the memory and you should see the details right below on this part. That's what um, speed your memory is running at. You can see here it's set to default which is 2667 for this memory model and we are now going to enable XMP to enable it to run up to 3200 so click on start power and restart your system now once your system shows the uh, manufacturer logo start tapping on the delete key on your keyboard basically you're going to hear me mash it so <laughs> here we go just keep tapping on the delete key until you enter your BIOS settings. There we go. That took a little while. Alright, um, and this uh, main page for the BIOS, you're going to see your DDR4 is running at 2666. In this configuration, we have two 8 gig sticks uh, to enable XMP on these ones. We are going to click up here on the OC tweaker and over here, load XMP profile. Hit on the button that says auto and click the XMP 2.0 profile 1. You can see this is the previous uh, setting that it's at 2666 megahertz and enabling the XMP. Uh, bumps it up to 3200 right here. Now, take note, this will vary depending on your memory model. It can be 3600, 3200, 3000. Uh, it's not always going to be the 3200. So once you've done that, click on exit, save changes and exit, and hit yes. Let the system boot up to Windows again and we will verify if the XMP settings are indeed changed. There we go. Once again, hit Control Alt Delete, open Task Manager, click on Performance, and under Memory, you can see here that the speed has now changed to 3200 megahertz. Now this should benefit your processor if you are using an AMD system. They do like um, higher speed uh, memory settings for that. It basically allows it to send and receive more data, load. Um, stuff into your RAM quicker and access them faster. Uh, aside from that, if you are having issues with your RAM speed, if you've got instabilities happening with your system, I will also show you how to manually set the speed. Based on uh, some of the models of uh, the motherboards that we carry, um, at some point 3600 becomes um, unstable when you are using um, four of the dim slots on your on your motherboard so I'll show you how to basically just clock it down a little bit just for stability sake or if you are troubleshooting what issues you're having with your system and BIOS got away from me from that one let's try again I have to excuse my monitor because it uh, while it is a better display it does take a while for it to basically to show me what I need to see. So we'll keep mashing the delete key again. Hopefully I got it that time.
there we go okay um, compared to the previous uh, screen that we have here you can see now that the DDR4 spec on this screen is showing 3200 now if your system is using 3600s and you are getting instabilities uh, head back to OC tweaker under these settings here you can see where the two um, basically the frequency lists are here click on this one and if you are running 3600 try clocking it down to about 3200 here you can manually set that and then again click exit and save changes run your computer as always do your games and uh, well, whatever you do on your system and see if the stability of, uh, of that setting is, is basically sticking and not causing any blue screens or errors and if so then well you know where to reach us give us a call we'll see what else we can do for you apart from that one uh, this will conclude this episode of basically troubleshooting your memory and setting XMP settings and uh, yeah I hope this video helped once again my name is Chris and we'll see you on the next one